Hey everyone, it's me. Um, I read this chapter today. It's called Accepting Change. It's very powerful. It's what we're going through. Us as star seeds or children of Christ. Um, I'm going to read this. is from uh, Melody Beetle, The Language of Letting Go. Author of Codependence No More and Beyond Codependency. I suggest you to get this book. But anyways, I'm going to read this chapter real quick. One day, my mother and I were working together in the garden. We were transplanting some plants for the third time. Growing from seed in a small container, the plants had been transferred to a larger container then transplanted into the garden now because I was moving we were transplanting them again in experience as a gardener I turned to my green thumb mother isn't this bad for them I asked as we dug them up and shook the dirt from their roots won't it hurt these plants being uprooted and transplanted so many times? Oh no, my mother replied. Transplanting does not hurt them. In fact, it is good for the one ones that survive. That's how their roots grow stronger. Their roots will grow deeper and they'll make strong plants. Often I felt like those small plants uprooted and turned upside down. Sometimes I've endured the change willingly, sometimes reluctantly, but unusually my reaction has been a combination. Won't this be hard on me? I ask. Won't it be better if things remain the same? That's when I remember my mother's words. That's how the roots grow deeper and stronger. Today, Father helped me remember that during times of transition, transition, my faith and myself are being strengthened. That was some powerful stuff. And that is an understanding I'm going through. I have been transplanted many times and due to these transplants I have gained the knowledge through the word plur which means peace, love, unity, respect and responsibility among yourself and your f brothers and sisters in Christ. Or in another term a lot of people would say P-L-U-R-R -R, Perfect love unites re respects and repairs So those are my meanings and yeah, so I think that book really uh, Declared it all I don't think I need to say anything and the father uh, it's telling me this is the end of the video. But I love you guys. Keep yourself strong. Keep yourself at peace. Make sure nobody steals your peace. And always praise and celebrate the kingdom. And the joy and happiness that Father brings to us. Even though sometimes it seems like he's just mad at us. He's not. Those are the times he believes in us more than ever and we can conquer the Goliath that is in our path with those five stones. G-R-A-C-E And the first stone was G. That first stone hit Goliath in the head. Plus, that's how the Father taught me plur. Because I came from a graceful church that forced grace down my throat. Graceful, prosper, and all that type of stuff. And I didn't like the word grace. I didn't want nothing to do with grace. And Father taught me grace. G-R-A-C-E. Through 
P L U R R. In another form, you could do it agape or faith. It continues some powerful words, just five letters. But, anyways, peace, love, and be kind to one another. And don't be so hard on yourself. You're in the right place at the right time. Sometimes we have to sit still. Sometimes we might have to crawl. But guess what? We're probably going to be standing tomorrow. Maybe not, but you will be standing. Guaranteed. If you wake up every day, you have a guaranteed to choose to stand on your own two feet. And start to believe in yourself as the Father believes in you. The Father believes so much in you. What hurts is you just don't, many don't believe in themselves. And that's what I'm going through. And it's hard for me to do these videos. But yeah, I don't want to continue, but that's the message. So, love you. Peace. This is Josh Betty.